and welcome back to my channel how are you today is another wonderful day another wonderful evening so this is mrs always right channel and thank you for tuning in also if you are new god bless you for subscribing to this channel so today update is going to be a very brief discussion discussion about solution of everything so if there is no solutions to our problem or if solutions are not are not uh, easy so there's always a way out the scripture is one to stand on if you don't have any answer or recommendation to solve your problems. So there's always a solution in the scripture. In first or second Timothy one verse seven, which is for God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power love and sound mind a sound mind thinks rational the mind of christ does not get panicky and does not make reckless decision nor runs into frantic piece of distress so people should calm down when there is chaos when there is chaos, people should learn how to calm down because God has given us the spirit of sound mind, not spirit of fear. I can relate to my own life story how many times I was confronted face to face that this is you. There is nothing left again for you in this world. There was a lot of confrontation from what we what i can say who i can call my uncle he come purposely to declare that this is not going to be my right i'm not going to be, be anything in this world but for me i did not have the spirit of fear instead i had the spirit of sound mind and nothing i trusted in god so when he said it i told him off i said never Will that work because with God all things are possible. So a sound mind thinks rational. So when God says yes, his word is coming to be true. So no matter how many times I was told that there will be no way out for me, and I'm going to be this, I'm going to be that, I did not fear because that is not God's decision. That was not God's decision. God's decision. Sorry, I just have to get this, rid of this thing. God's decision wasn't that way. So nobody can make decision for you and you accept such decision. So the man of Christ does not get panicky, as I said, nothing like that. So let me just sometimes keep this keep, keep things keep coming up here. Okay. So the mind of God does not panic when he makes decisions. <laughs> so <laughs> when when you consult our heavenly father first, and often we will discover how he's working for us. So no matter how many times people come and throw challenge in your face and declare this is not going to work for you always cancel it and pray over it and rebuke it and you see how god will take care of it god didn't give us power or a mind that we should be scared of things like that because people human beings can try but the plan of god will still carry on in your life so Sometimes we all face problems that defy easy solutions. Here is a simple formula for us in making the right decision. First, you have to let God to decide. 
we must not fret over the problems we must not focus on knowing what anybody is threatening us about we must focus on knowing what god has got for us the solution and will bring forth the breakthrough so we must pray about things and have agreement with god for for god to make that decision right and then we must also pray for god to lead us to the path that is safe and a path that is right for us and don't get frustrated when people come and throw challenge on you because the more they come to you the more god is giving you victory because there is no smoke without fire they must have seen how bright your future is they must have seen everything about you is real and in good condition that is when the devil will come in form of human beings like your family members uncle mother sister they come to destroy you to come and frighten you so that you will be scared but when you trust in god all those things god has waved it aside and give you victory so god is the one that is leading us to his path and remember when you arrive in one of life inevitable crossroad you put the light on please take time <laughs> so we just keep turning off the light <laughs> sometimes in daily mass of life we think god's plan may just be our plan that is why doors are blocked and stopped it is to protect us so the good news in is that in God will always get us on the right track. May we have a clarity evening today on decision making. And thank you for watching. And God bless you. And have a wonderful evening. And thank you for watching. Hello everybody. <laughs> Mrs. Wright's channel. I'm Mr. Wright and she's been doing a lovely speech so thank you thank you thank you and god bless you and bye bye bye